Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG World 2019. Thank you so much for being here guys, I really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you are watching live with me on Twitch, thank you so much for joining me. So, now we're going to be reviewing the ninth place White Curem Substriga Arceus list that... Um, ended up bubbling at the Harrogate Regionals. They had the same points as the 8th place and a few other people above them, but because of resistance, they weren't able to make it in. So we have White Curem, 130 HP basic Pokemon, Field Crush. If your opponent has a Stadium card in play, you discard it whilst doing 30 damage, but Freezing Flames, freezing flames is the real deal here. It deals 80 damage plus 80 more damage if this Pokemon has a fire energy attached to it. So how are we going to pull that off? Well, we have Arceus Prism Star. Its ability first law prevents all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to this Pokemon. So no paralysis, no poison, no burn, no confusion, no anything other than damage. And then Trinity Star deals 30 damage and you can only use the attack if you have a grass, water, and lightning Pokemon on your bench. You search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So you get to attach the waters, the fires, and you get to power up perhaps one, maybe more than one cure white Curem. Now we have Formosa for its free retreat. Um, it also has a one energy attack high jump kick, which against um, grass weak Pokemon with a choice band that becomes a hundred, so not bad, but we're mainly using this for the free retreat and to cover the grass typing that Arceus Prism Star requires. Then we also have the two one Sip Strike Alarm, Sip Strike with its ability Sprint. Once during your turn before you attack, you might discard your hand and draw four cards. So pretty nice ability, it accelerates the deck and it also counts for the Lightning Pokemon that you need for Arceus Prism Star to be able to attack. Single Marsh Shadow as well to disrupt a little bit and use Let Loose at some point. And then Supporters wise, we have 4 Lily, 4 Cynthia, 4 Guzma, and the 1 Cyrus Prism Star. Cyrus Prism Star is a really good card in order to combat things like Malamar, because in a non GX versus non GX prize trade off, whoever gets the first prize and it then doesn't whiff ends up becoming the winner. But with Cyrus, you can actually get a KO and shuffle away to Malamars, therefore perhaps preventing your opponent from being able to power up an attacker, and that's where you turn the tables around. Um. No Kukui and only one Sip Strike is kind of suspect. I mean, this is what the list looks like um, that did so well um, with Shrine and Choice Bands. Kukui doesn't seem as as necessary, but I do agree that at least one of would be nice to be able to hit for 210 in that um, as a surprise attack, I guess. Um, items wise, we have four Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball, and four Aqua Patch so that we can keep powering up Waikura even after Arceus is done with that. Still risk a stretcher to get back the Pokemon that we might need. Energy recycle system to either put back energy in the deck or get the fire energy we might need into our hand to be able to attack. Um, four Shrine of Punishment to deal extra damage to GXs, two Choice Band, same reason. And then four Wishful Baton so that any energy that gets um, discarded or that any energy that would get discarded gets instead attached to a different um gets attached to a different Kyurem and because we are focusing on Wishful Baton so heavily um Shrine of Punishment is going to be the main way that we try and get up to the big damage against um the GX Pokemon so let's jump into a ladder see if we can keep the winning streak of today's um stream with this white Kyurem deck and see what we can do um but yes Shrine is definitely not a replacement for Kukui because with Shrine your maximum damage output in a single turn with Choice Band and Shrine is 200 so you do come up short against Zorg, which if they then start to a Zero Alarm Max Potion it could become an issue so I do see what Serpentage means. Yeah. Okay. So we might be up against the Mirror Match. We might actually be up against the mirror match. And Jay Garza, thank you so much for the four bits. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. You can send bits in form of M&Ms, guys. I really appreciate any and all 
M&Ms and bits that come my way, they really make a difference. Every little bit helps. Especially like in months like December, it's when I realize like I'm doing Pokemon full time and I love it. But it also means that I don't get like a, a Christmas bonus or vacations and stuff. <laughs> okay, so this is some sort of Glacian deck. This is some sort of Glacian deck. There's the Glacian GX. Now there's no way for us to get the Arceus Prism Star off the bat here. We're gonna see a Nest Ball by my opponent. Or Anguru. The fire type is probably my cargo, right? We don't care too much about Glacian GX's ability. We don't really care at all. Um, there's a lot of GX's, which is great. Um, the stadium counts could end up being important here or not. We'll see. And there's a turn one Lily. So visualize you missed the list. Um, it should be on Facebook. It will be at, on Limitless at some point as well. Um, it's very basic. It's very straightforward. Okay. Wow. So Glacian should be a very good matchup. Any GX deck should be a very good matchup. Okay. So let me think this through. Nespol gets me one, gets me Arceus. The other gets me Fermosa. And the Ultra Ball gets me the Blitz Ball, discarding the two Lilies. That would be too much, right? That would definitely be too much. So Substrike is available. I really don't want to have zero cards in hand just to use Arceus Prism Star on turn one. So I'm going to go for this. And then I'm going to attach a Fire Energy to the bench, White Curum. I'm gonna go ahead and Lily. And there we go. We even got the Arceus. I'm gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball. The Guzma, maybe? I don't see myself like trying to stall or anything. So I'll grab the Fermosa. Just to have that free retreat option. That seems okay. We drew water energies, which was awesome. So we don't get the turn one Arceus Prism Star, but it works out anyways, honestly. It definitely works out anyways. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I should have kept the Guzma and discard the Ultra Roll. That way I could have just started attacking against the top Lele. I don't mind the White Cure going down though. I really, really don't. This list does not play any switch options outside of Guzma. So our White Cure is stuck there. We're definitely going to lose a White Cure, but as long as we can set up other White Cure, we should be fine. It's really not a big deal. And we can even attack with Arceus Prism Star in order to load extra ones. Uh, not the best top deck. I'm gonna go ahead and touch there. Then I will Lily once again. I'm gonna play a Shrine. Get that going. And then I don't wanna lose the fire. I think I'll just pass here. Right? I think I just pass. This is fine. So yeah, instead of keeping the Ultra Ball, I should have just gone on the Guzma, I guess. Hitting 160 into a Layla would have been nice. As long as my opponent doesn't heal it, eventually I drop a Shrine and get those two prizes. My opponent needs Energy Guzma to punish my Curem. If that happens, then I just go... Well, that's probably the Guzma. Then I'm just gonna go... Um, he's gonna GX attack my Curem, knock it out, then I just go Arceus Prism, load up a brand new Curem. And it's not even the Kuzma play, so we are completely okay here. Completely, completely a-okay. Like, again, the game is still at 6 and 6 prizes, and I can already tell you I am going to win this game. Like, 99% sure. <laughs> There's no 100% guarantees in Pokemon, but 99% sure we are going to be able to win this match. We lose the shrine, that's fine. We'll find another one. Kirim goes down. 
Now our, our ideal find would be a wishful weapon, right? That would be the ideal find. So let's go ahead and nest ball for a white Kiran. Attach the fire to it. And then, and I don't see why not, discard these two, set up the Substrika so that we have late game draw. Basically, what I'm looking for is a Wishful Baton, especially since my opponent has already used his um, his Field Blower. No Wishful Baton, the Choice Band gets me a Knockout, which is also pretty nice. Um, definitely want to do that. And then, I guess again, Lily. Uh, the other Choice Band, let's hold on to it. Well, should I? I can choose back here and just use a striker. Uh, do I want to? Probably not. I'll just take the two prices here. This hand is too like reliable for me to go for that. Now, Shrine gets me knockout. There's the Wishful. There's the Aqua Patch, which we probably needed to attack next turn. We're gonna lose the White here, I'm sure. But my opponent's always trying two for one, so it's never a good trade for him. We're gonna see a rescue stretcher for the EV. We're gonna see an attachment to the EV. We're gonna see a judge. Okay, that changes potentially our plans. It might mean we attack with Arceus Prism Star, which is also perfectly okay. As long as we find an energy, um, which we already have, I guess, with the energy recycle system. And, but yeah, like we have Substrike as well. We don't want to promote that. We want to promote the Free Retreater always. Or almost always. We get a Water. So now, if I find an Aqua Batch, I could potentially knock out the Lele. Realistically, that's not going to happen, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to recycle the energy back into the deck. That means no Aqua Batch for me, which I think is okay. And then I'm gonna Lily for four. Ah, uh, Dona, Substrika, away. The Cyrus, probably not. This is the issue with Substrika. Like, sometimes you just don't wanna discard anything. Right? Well, how useful is this, though? Nah, uh, let's Substrika. I don't think these two are useful. Because my opponent has all GX attackers, so Kuzma is not going to be super intimidating um, against him. Or against us, rather. And then let's go ahead and Trinity Star. 30 dam 60 damage, rather. We can attach the waters, right? So two waters here, one water here. The fire goes here. And then I Cynthia. We are good here. We are pretty good. You don't like the Cyrus at all in the list? When is it even used? I think it's specifically for the Malamar matchup. Because think about this, like if you don't get the first KO against Malamar, they always have the Giratina, right? The Giratina just keeps coming back, coming back, coming back. And it's easier for them to cycle attackers than it is for you. But if you play the Cyrus and you get rid of two of their Malamars back into the deck, then that means they will probably stumble a little bit and they won't be able to immediately reload a Giratina. So that's when, uh, in the non-GX price trade-off, you end up uh, taking the advantage. Yeah, so I think that would be the reason why it's in there. That would be the main reason. I'm pretty sure I read that was the main reason. And we still have two Guzmas left here, so we are good to go. Um, my opponent is also playing the Cyrus, interestingly enough. My opponent is also playing the Cyrus. We're gonna see Macargo plus Instruct. Still has a GX attack, which is kind of scary, I guess. Well, yeah, except not really. We're gonna take a knockout next turn on a GX, unless he retreats into the Oranguru or the Macargo. Well, I guess we don't have a choice man anymore. I guess we don't have a choice man anymore. 
We see the aqua patch onto the glacian. We're gonna see a Cynthia. Yeah, I think it's specifically for Malamar. Other than that, yeah, it feels like a, a luxury supporter for sure. But since you do have Zextrika, you can like use Cyrus and still see new cards, right? You can use Cyrus and still see the energy. Okay, we find the Aqua Patch, which is nice. My opponent chose not to um, retreat. And now we have two white Kyurems fully powered up. I think I go Cynthia into looking for a Kuzma to close out the game. There's a Kuzma. I'm gonna Wishful Button. I'm gonna Wishful Button. I wish I had better targets for the Wishful Button <laughs> now that I think about it. And then we're gonna Freezing Flames. Two white Kyurems powered up. My opponent can't deal with both of them. There's no way he gets four prizes next turn. And we now have access to two Guzmas in our hand in order to just get the knockout on the Lele or even on the active. Finding the Lele without Cyrus is kind of difficult, yes, but you do have Substrika, right? So you do have the Pokemon draw possibility to find that Cyrus. And it's not like you need to find it in a specific timing because as long as like the trade-offs will be happening. Right, so you just need to stop it once to turn the prizes in your favor. And you might want to do it in the latest, like when they're at like one prize and you're at two. And then you play the Cyrus, you take the knockout, and then maybe they can't take a knockout with anything, and then you take the last prize. Yeah. Don't underestimate for a most attack for 20. I am definitely not underestimating. I just mean that um Formosa definitely doesn't need two waters and a fire energy attached to it. And my opponent doesn't even get a knockout here, so we'll just freezing planes for 160, and the shrine will finish him off in between turns. So pretty nice. Pretty nice solid game and showing the advantage of using a non-GX attacker against all the GX decks. So let's find another match here. Is the five win streak has it all been on stream? No. The first game wasn't, right? No, yeah. The five games have been on stream, right? I'm not sure. I am actually not sure. Okay. would like to go first. Hello, Peter, how are you doing? We're just out here trying out new decks like Meganium, Rhybeer, Charizard, and now the White Curum that bubbled in, 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 in England, and then we'll probably end up playing Beat with Flareon. Oh, it's a mirror match. We are up against a mirror match, interesting. We are up against a mirror match. Is this list my creation? No, this is not my creation. Uh, I think these two are the expendable cards. I'm gonna set up the Blitzel. Maybe I should set up the Arcus though. No, I think this is fine. Well, no, yeah, finding the Arcus seems better. If my opponent is able to attack me with Arceus first, though, I think there's merit to playing Guzma into the Kyurem. I think there's merit into playing Kuzma, Gu, uh, Kuzma. <laughs> Guzma into the Kyurem, because that probably delays my opponent quite a bit. Unless he has his own Guzma. Alright, Claremore, thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, Beast Hulk, how did I finish in Anaheim? Top 128. 
I think I'm gonna do that, honestly. I think I'm going to Guzma. I think that's how I won the game. Because whoever gets the first Arceus hit should have a big advantage, right? And then I attach here, or I attach to the active to guarantee. Uh, let's attach to the active, and then I'll pass. I think, I think that's the right play. Because if my opponent doesn't immediately have the Guzma to do the same thing, then he's very far behind. Discarded Cynthia. <laughs> or if he has Switch, right? Natural switches would be good in this deck as well. There's the Arceus. There's the Arceus. Um, <laughs> Pros y contras del deck, like Wasa GX Nagana Del. Entonces ahora. Um, Pros no tiene límite de daño. Contras, el espacio en banca y. Como sacar todo muy rápido termina siendo algo complicado. Ok. So. There's the Marsh Shadow. I don't mind that. Right? I mean, I was going to Lily, I might whiff. Uh. Ok. But he whiffed both energy and the switch. Right? So that's good. Uh, I cannot don't a. I kind of want to keep the Ultra Ball to use um, to get to strike on next turn. It's such harsh dish, yeah, such harsh discards though. Especially in a matchup where, um, especially in a matchup where I already lost a stretcher and every Kyrim is going to count. Ugh, that might have been wrong though. That might have been wrong. Okay, so no hand. Oh, yeah, my own Marshadow would have been good, I guess. So do I want to immediately start applying pressure? I think so. I'm not sure. I definitely want to power up this. Nothing on my opponent's side of the field threatens me. There was an argument to powering up two with each. But then I have zero cards in hand. Yeah, the Marshadow was prized indeed. Alex, what do I think of this Oracarados deck that won? Um, you feel like it takes too much to set up. I mean, I used it. There's a video on it on my YouTube channel already in case you want to check that out. Oh, my opponent already has a Substrika, so he has that big advantage going for him. Um, if he finds a Guzma here, it might be a big issue. And because of that possibility, I will probably have to use Trinity Star again. Okay, goes for the Cynthia. That's good. That's good. It does feel like this 60 card mirror, right? So I think the turn one Kuzma might be the game winning play here. I think turn one Kuzma is going to be the game winning play. And that's a fire. Okay, I'm just going to Trinity Star. That way I prevent my opponent doing the same thing to me. I have energy. Should I grab the other water? Yeah, too thin. So two on white Kyurem, and then an extra water on the Arceus. Right? That way I can retreat it. And then eventually attack with it again. Uh, I probably won't be able won't attack with it again though. Uh, maybe that was not great. We'll see. Um uh, okay, so gets the Guzma, right? Goes after the Blitzel, which makes sense. And now he's going to power up. He gets a Wishful Bell. And I don't have a Wishful Button. Oh, I shouldn't have discarded that second Ultra Ball. I think the turn one play was very good, and then discarding that Ultra Ball. I mean, we are dead drawing, right? Which is a, a bit unfortunate. We're going to take the first prize. I absolutely need Wishful Buttons. It might not even be right to get the first prize. With White Kieran, actually. Might not even be right to do that. Oh, it's not useful. Uh, 
Maybe I should have kept that as well. Because now I can't top the gold hole to save me. I think I have to take a knockout. No, I, think I can't. I can't take the first knockout. I think I have to. I need something. And I have a chance to get the marshmallow out of my prices, I guess. Ah, not great though. Not great. Not marshadow. That's bad. Now, I, if my top deck isn't something to draw cards and find another Kyrian and a Wishful Baton, I am out of this game. So our turn one play ends up being punished by the fact that I discarded that other Ultra Wall. It just, it felt so harsh to discard that. So, so harsh. And yeah, my opponent has a perfect setup now. Even though we're ahead in prices, it's much more likely that we whiff than he does. Because we're not drawing cards. Um, hello, Grigit. Thank you so much for being here. Um, ninguna molestia. I declare war. Definitivamente Blacephalon Hex. Nagana del. Eh, hay una razón por la cual Blacephalon Hex Nagana del. Está haciendo top y ganando torneos y Rayquaza Hex Nagana del no está siendo jugado. And our topic is... Oh, I should have kept the nest ball. I mean, I have to pass here, right? Oh my god. Paul, can Bikabu will be okay and expand it? No. Yep, there's a Guzma. I'm gonna concede here. Ah, oh, we played, we did, we did the turn one play really good, and then, I mean, we dead drew, right? My, I had one card in hand, and my opponent used Marsh Shadow, and then we dead drew off of four cards rather than the one we had. Um, I shouldn't have discarded that other Ultra Ball. I should have just played to that. I should have also kept that other Nest Ball. Um, Oh well. Oh well. The advantage I created in the beginning ended up... Uh, I ended up making wrong decisions, which ended up nullifying that advantage. Yeah. That and the fact that I never just drew out of the, the bad hand. Um, do you think you should have taken the KO and hope to not with two Aqua Patch and Fire Sword Bandage? Uh, I don't think that was recoverable. And Bob, when am I going to play Expanded? I've been playing Expanded for the last three weeks and I will be playing Expanded after this deck. We are going to be reviewing the Nido Queen, not Nido Queen, sorry, Vespiquen, um, Vespiquen, Flareon deck and the Lucario deck that got top eight. Yeah, so I, Bob, I've been playing Expanded Lost Thunder for the past two or three weeks in preparation for Anaheim. <laughs> If you want to check out my YouTube channel, you'll be able to find um, a lot of videos there. Okay, so this is not the best hand at all. Probably gonna need to lose the Aqua Patch. Oh, you're replying Lost Thunder to Luis, not telling me to play Lost Thunder, sorry. I have to Marsh Shadow here. So I'll play a shrine, sure. I'll grab Aqua Patch. Okay, so now we are hoping the Marshadow will do some damage to my opponent. And <laughs> Yikes. We don't even get an energy to start getting knockouts. Oh well. Uh we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Thoughts on Gascon in standard? Gascon is an amazing deck. Gascon is pretty good. Gascon is pretty, pretty good. Especially Chimeco. Chimeco, I feel, has only gotten stronger now. Chimeco feels like it has only gotten stronger. We see the Synthium. Oh, 
Okay. Top deck Lily. That's very nice. <sighs> that means the White Curum is staying here. It's not the end of the world. Do I want to Lily these two cards? I mean, Ultra all these two cards. I think it's fine. I think it's fine to set up a Zebra here. There we go. <laughs> For now, I declare war. There's the thingy. And then we find a fire, not the one we want. And I don't see a point, any point in attaching it because we're gonna lose the active white curum anyways. I should bench the Arceus, I guess. And then maybe attach the fire to the Arceus. Yeah, that seems okay. And then we'll pass. We're gonna lose the QRM. We might take a turn to use Arceus Prism Star because it can't get knocked out by Zorak GX. We are up against that GX deck, so we should have a big advantage here. And with Zip Strike, I'm gonna feel very comfortable. Hello, realgames.ca. Thanks so much for being here. Cynthia, Great Ball. Will my opponent finally find the Zoric? Do I feel that any card needs to be banned and expanded and why? Um, maybe Lusamine? Because it creates infinite loops or at least a Rattad. Um, maybe. Maybe red card and or delinquent. Maybe those, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> H2WM, thank you so much for the MNM, it's very kind of you. <laughs> thank you so much. It does seem quite tiny, doesn't it? <laughs> Cricket, I am very, I was very happy for Ian as well. Very happy that he made top eight at our regionals and always happy to, always, it makes me very happy when I see the people that I coach do well. Okay, so my opponent actually didn't get to KO the White Huron, surprisingly. Um, so my, hmm. My play could be Guzma attacking to the Lele. Because my opponent has also been greedy with the DCEs. Guzma attacking to the Lele and then use a Strika to try and find a Wishful Baton or a Shrine. Or I could be more conservative and Guzma into the Lele and attack it with Arceus. Or Guzma into the Zorak even and attack with Arceus. I think that's the slightly better play. I think that is just slightly, slightly better. So let's go ahead and attach here. Let's go ahead and evolve into the Striker. Huh? And then, I mean, I don't mind losing the Aqua Patch as long as I can find Wishful Buttons. And there's one. So that works. Um, well, I guess I don't need the Wishful Buttons yet. Okay, so Trinity Star. I need the Wishful Baton when I bench an energy less. Um, an energy less White Kirin, right? No reason not to promote the Formosa, indeed, in case I change my mind. That's true. Uh, that was a small misstep there. Um, triple Zorak now for my opponent. We see the Machoke. Obviously, playing Theta Prism Star, we see a, a Judge. I keep drawing into Guzma's with the Substrika, which is not the ideal. But I'm feeling pretty comfortable now. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this situation. PTCGO could glitch and not allow a retreat H to WM. That's true. That is very true. That is very, very true. 
Okay, all three DCs attached already. Are we gonna see a Kuzma? Wow, attaches before finishing trading. Okay. Not the best sequencing there. Not the best sequencing. There's a Weavil. There's the Guzma. Go through the brand new white Kurum, that makes sense. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so now I really need the Wishful Baton to stick. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. If it does, then we are fine. So... I might, okay, so I might want to Guzma here. Because 160, okay, yeah, I'm gonna Guzma and attack this guy or this guy. Probably the Lele. Because my opponent might not have energy to retreat. I'm gonna go after the Lele and then I really want a shrine here. That would be nice. No shrine. The fire, I don't think I attach it. Well, maybe I do, because I still have an aqua batch left and I could lose the the energy. So then let's freezing flames. <clears throat> Can free a Lola Ninetales knock out on a Krosma with a GX attack? Um, not the regular Necrozma, no. The Ultra Dawn and Dusk versions, yes. The card needs to say Ultra Beast for you to be able to knock it out. <laughs> so lots of trading. Oh my god. The ones who are deck that plays field lower. And have either <laughs> Okay. So that was worst case scenario, right? That was worst case scenario. Now I'm gonna have to rely. I mean, hopefully there's no two um, field blowers, right? That's that's the dream. <laughs> no two field blowers. So I'm gonna attack with Arceus. I'm gonna bench the other Kyurem. I'm gonna attach the Wishful to one of the Kyurems. And then I'm gonna use the Strike again. So let's promote for a Mosum. Uh, see, I keep drawing Guzma with the silly. Oh my gosh. And that's my last Guzma. Ugh. That is my last Guzma. If I get rid of my last Guzma, I probably just lose to. Um, to a Kuzma on this white Kyurem, so I can't do that. I can't afford to do that. I only have two energy left. Oh my god. Two shrines still in there. Ah, oh, jeez. Do I have a favorite deck in standard right now? Mm, probably not. Maybe, like, I've. I've been, every time I go to Cops, I gravitate towards Malamar because I feel like it has a chance against everything. Um, but since there's no regionals in standard for the next, uh, like, month or so, like, my next big standard event is um, Collinsville in February. So I haven't been playing standard too, too seriously. I've been focusing more on expanded. I have a league challenge on Saturday. Um... I'll probably just end up playing Malamar again. <laughs> or Zorg. Something Zorg. I don't have Meganium, so otherwise I would maybe try a Meganium deck. Okay, lots of trading. Um, I only have... Well, I have three Pokemon with ability, never mind. So he can use Weavil to knock out my Arceus, actually. Jeez. 
Do I have a standard model list posted anywhere that, that is current lethal damage? I mean, on my Instagram or on my Facebook page, I posted the last list that I used at a, at a leak up, in case you want to check that out. Okay, so he's gonna knock out the Arceus. I think I just chased the Zoark, right? With my last Kuzma. Make it count. Make it count. We're gonna eventually have to deal with the Weavile, which sucks. Well, now I have a Lily, so I can draw cards. Let's burn this, right? I still have the energy recycle system and the wishful buttons. So maybe I just knock this guy out. No, because my opponent can knock out my white hero. I just... Yeah, I need to get rid of the stadium. I really need to get rid of the stadium. So I'm gonna sprint. Okay, there's a stadium, thank you. The the Cyrus might also be pretty decent. Cyrus plus Marshadow would be broken, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Now I need this to stick. Or I need to find the other one so I can win the stadium more. There's the other one, okay, that works. Because that's my opponent's uh, second devoured field and a field lower. So if he plays three and one, then so be it. But then this one should stick, right? This last one. There's the third devoured field. There's no way he plays four, right? There's no way he plays four. He will get a knockout here. Ugh. I might use Cyrus this turn. I think I need choice by now. Okay, so choice bend plus Cyrus. Oh wait, Cyrus, they choose, right? I'm not even sure. Um. I need to find my other rescue stretcher. I need to find more wishful buttons. I'm running out of attacking options. I can't target the hand. <laughs> I'm not playing Cuckoo User Bandage. I don't think I can, Cyrus. My stretcher is prized. My last stretcher is prized, which means I probably need to just go for the choice band. Right? I need to go for the choice band. Okay, I get it. Cool. This QRM has to be the MVP here. Although my opponent probably has Kukui though, right? If my opponent has Kukui, then that's game. Ah, it just took us too long to stabilize. Um, we lost our key Kuzmas, I guess. We wasted attacks on Lele's. Um, there's a Stretcher and there's a Wishful. Oh, wow. Promotes your and Guru. Actually promotes your and Guru. Actually promotes your and Guru. Oh, you mean your opponent. A great turn for Kukui with Weevil. Yeah, I mean... They're playing Field Blower and three Devoured Fields, so maybe they're not playing Kukui. He went for their resource management. Devoured Field, Field Blower, and Zorg. Oof, now would be a great time for the Cyrus, I guess. And there it is. Um. Okay, I definitely just need a Kirin, right? Definitely just need a Kiram. Do I go for Cyrus here? Uh, grab the Furrow. Same key energy recycle system. What does Cyrus even do? Your opponent chooses two bench Pokemon and shuffles the others, and all cards attached to them. I mean, he's gonna choose Zork and Weavile and then shuffle those two back. I mean, I guess it's less 
wait for him to find return KO, right? So let's Cyrus. He's gonna choose Oregon Weavile, of course, but that's fine. I think we might have this on. Cyrus and hope they click wrong ones. I'm pretty sure we are fine, I think. Bagamut, eh, te recomiendo la, la página limitlesstcg.com. Ahí en la sección de torneos puedes eh, checar. Ups. Puedes checar eh, todos los. Eh, todos los últimos resultados de los torneos y eso te va a decir qué es bueno y qué no es bueno de las últimas expansiones. Um, do I need to save Strika? I feel like keeping this stadium might be worth it. Though finding the Aqua Patch is probably great. No, I'm just gonna go. I might need to go for the. Okay, so how does my opponent beat me? He can try to Guzmo stall my Substrika or my Marshadow, therefore I need the thing. But I'm gonna draw four cards and I'm gonna have five left, so I don't think I need to this turn. I'm just gonna Freezing Flames. Freezing Flames. Oh, actually I did need to, because if he Guzmas this Kyurem, well then I use the, the thing to put three energy back, and eventually I knock him out, right? If he was at one price, we would be in trouble. Because he's at two prices, we have the time. Because he can he cannot leave my white Kyurem stranded in the active enough time or in any way before he takes two prizes, right? Eventually when he takes a prize, then I just knock him back out. So we should be good here. We should be good. My opponent has a huge hand. He also has... Um, his deck was made bigger thanks to Cyrus. I think we have this one. I'm almost, almost sure we have this one. For nada, Bahamut. He only has one trade, and we know the field lower and or stadium are in the deck, right? He could have gotten them, but how? what's the chance that he gets three basic Pokemon plus the stadium to knock me out? And even if he does, I can knock him out back, I think, with the cards that I have left in my deck. Because there's a choice band there, there's an aqua patch, and there's the energy recycle system. So I can Lily for some of them, and then just find uh, aqua patch plus energy recycle system plus choice band, get a knockout. Well, I don't even need the choice band uh, with the shrine. So I don't even need the choice band. And I know there's an aqua patch and the energy recycle system. So I'm pretty sure we've won here. I'm pretty sure we've won, unless my opponent goes Guzma to stall me out. Which is why maybe I should have used the Substrike's ability this turn. Fails the Lily. Plays another Lele. I have no more Guzmas. Reggie, why do you get advertisements? Because you're not a subscriber to the channel. And there's a Guzma, yep. There's a Guzma style play. If you were a subscriber to the channel, you wouldn't get advertisements, yep. It, like, it's part of how I can make this uh, two, three hour live streams and um, earn a little bit of money. Yeah, if you don't like ads, it costs five dollars per month. <laughs> Time to play to lose events in the deck? Uh, <laughs> probably not. Um, okay, so I really need the, the energy recycler system, right? So I'm gonna Cynthia. I'll leave two cards in the deck. One of which is that card. So I'll pass. I mean, he must have seen that I only have one shrine left, right? I mean, well, no goose must left. I assume he checked for that. There's no way he can target my deck. If he gets a knockout here, then that's fine. If he gets a knockout, if he goes Guzma knockout Kyurem, that's also fine. He might assume I don't have energy left, but I do. The two cards in my deck are... Well, one is an energy recycle system. I don't understand that. They come in the second... I mean, they're random. Some They're uh, about eight every eight to ten minutes. Yeah, sometimes more, sometimes less. It depends on which country you live in. Um, many things. 
Yeah. I have some control over the ads. I don't have all the control. Um, so it happens like in the middle of, of things. Okay, my opponent chose to a Cerola. I need to keep a Cynthia so I don't take myself out. Because if he plays a stadium, then I just attack for two. And if he plays a stadium and knocks me out, ooh, if he plays a stadium and knocks me out, I actually can't win. Oh. Whenever he does get the stadium, if he gets a knockout with a stadium and a zero, I can't win because I'm not hitting for 210. Oh. Well, he attached the energy. Maybe he doesn't realize that. Oh, the last card is the energy recycle system. Why? Last card in my deck. I play the Cynthia looking for that one card, and I just needed to not be the last card, and it just so happens it is the last card. <laughs> yeah, if he goes my KOs with Fresh Sorrow, then I am 100% in trouble. I mean, I'll have the stadium, right? To maybe prevent the knockout. But all he needs is another Guzma. Wow, he's playing four Palpats. Okay, so he passes. Very greedily decides to pass. Assuming I'm going to deck myself out. Uh, how many? Do I want the fire? I think I want two fires. Nah. Let's go like this. And I think I Cynthia, right? He is playing this. I mean, I assume he... I think he thought that I would deck myself out. So three cards, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I play a Cynthia, <coughs> I have nine. There will be three left in the deck. So I'm going to choice band and then I'll Cynthia. So I have two cards left in the deck. Which could be the fire that I need. So let's just field crush. Uh, the stadium doesn't get discarded because it's not my opponent's, it's actually mine. And my opponent still has the same win condition. Right? My opponent still has the same win condition because we were drawn to a halt by that Guzma play. How my opponent wins is. Uh, sure. I mean. Not necessarily feel... Oh, no. Well, that's bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have played the choice band, I guess. Oh, that's my mistake. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Get rid of the shrine and the choice band. That's okay. Oopsies. Yeah, I shouldn't have played the choice band. I need to give the choice band my hand. How my opponent wins is Stadium, KO me with a Fridge Arc, and then keeps the Guzma to win next turn. If he doesn't do that this turn, then I have one. And he has the means to do that because he can draw all four cards in his deck. The question is, can he do that? Um, and put back, put cards back, right? With something like a Stretcher, which he's already played two of. Two stretchers and four pal four palpats. That is insane. <laughs> four palpats. That is actually insane. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose. Even if I had kept the choice band, I think we still lose. What lost us the game was those turns we lost were the where the thing was the last card in our hand in our deck. And the dark? What do you mean, and the dark? There's a Cerola. Maybe the stadium is the last card in his deck. Palpat, just like versus Seeker, gonna play four. <laughs> Not quite. I mean, there was one deck I know from the regional that played four Palpat and did well. It's just so much space, though. Four Palpat feels like you're just trying to make up for bad trades. Like bad planning ahead. Yeah, he has basic dark to attack with Weavile. Yep, and there's the 
There's a knockout with a fresh Zorg. There's a knockout with a fresh Zorg. So that is game. That is game. And then he chose to discard the choice band from my active Kyurem, even though he was going to knock him. <laughs> But yeah, that's game. Ah, oh, that is game. 10 damage shorts. Ah, oh, the last card in our deck. We need to apply this pressure one turn before. Maybe maybe not using the strike at that turn was the issue because I opened up the possibility to get Guzmat into this stall play. Ah. Oh. So yeah, we lose. We absolutely lose. Why is he even playing the Isarola? Like, this is just BMing, right? This is just BMing. I'm not even gonna bother giving it to him. That is just being very silly. Okay, so... Unlucky, lucky, whatever you wanna call it. Um, the deck should have a pretty decent... Zorg matchup most of the time, just so happened that the combination of cards towards the end really, really favored my opponent. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be, and yeah, where's the guy who said Shrine was your Kukui? Definitely Kukui was, not having Kukui is the reason why we weren't able to win this game, right? That and the fact that we had to go through all of our four Guzmas very early on in the match. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna be it from me today. I actually don't won't have time to play the expanded decks. I didn't realize what time it was. I did start the stream earlier, but it's almost 2 p.m. and I have to go do um, some chores before I do coaching in the afternoon. So he did have knockout real games.ca. He put back a stadium, a devoured field, which was the last card in his deck. So that gives him 10 extra damage, which that makes it 130 damage to knock out the Kyurem. So. He put back the stadium with the with the Oranguru, he still had access to it. There was no way he wasn't going to get the stadium. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you leave a like, really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow for more live action for Expanded. Definitely gonna try out the Best Bequin and the um, Lucario deck then. So thank you guys so much for the support. I will see you guys tomorrow and have a nice day. Bye-bye.